Hey everybody, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a few more champions. We got a triple for you uh, in this video today. Now, this first one, you probably already have seen, but I didn't get around to adding it in a video. So that's the uh, hint that you're going to get for the first one. The uh, second and third one, we'll talk about that when we get there. But if you think you can guess who these three are, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up, Scarlet Witch. So if you guys saw me do the um, Eternity of Pain and I did the uh, double, I think it was a uh, band of mutants and um, a force or alternate Avengers. And I went in with a team of OG Scarlet, Witch, uh, both the five star and the six star, even though I could have left the five star off. I just ended up reviving the uh, six star. And I went in also with Rogue. and, I had already made a video where I took uh, Scarlet Witch up to rank two. Well, this is where I finished, took her up to rank three, and then took her into the Eternity of Pain, where she did quite well. Uh, if you missed it, I still have it up. It's not unlisted or anything like that. So you can see my run with her and uh, Rogue pretty much. We got the double done. Wasn't too bad at all. All right. So first one, Scarlet Witch. The next one is interesting. And that's the one you probably didn't see coming. But it's going to be Red Hulk. Now, <clears throat> Red Hulk, I had already taken Red Hulk up to rank two. Already know that Red Hulk is a beast. But uh, during a live stream, Jason and Jabari, um, I think it was Jay Will, actually, he suggested Red Hulk for that penny. Now, if you guys remember that fight, it's a grind, it's not fun. You just basically grind your way through that thing, unless you have a proper counter. But since we're doing the Karina challenges at the same time, that's what makes it challenging. We don't necessarily have the perfect counters for uh, Penny. So uh, he suggested Red Hulk. He said Red Hulk was uh, his MVP for that. And I said, okay, you know, I already know Red Hulk is a beast. And so I decided to go ahead and finish ranking up Red Hulk. Now, he's not awakened. Let me tell you a little bit about his awakened ability. And I'll use Mephisto. So, Red Hulk is not immune to poison or um, uh, incinerate, I, I believe it is. Incinerate. And he converts it to some rage charges, right? I went in with an unawakened red hulk fighting against mephisto that did not go well that's because if he has a buff on him that's an incinerate he'll convert it but mephisto has an incineration aura and that's different for that you need him to be awakened with a decent sig you know like just one dupe is fine and he will be able to handle that. He gets enough of the resistance so that he can deal with it. Well, we're not going to be dealing with anything like that in the Eternity of Pain, so I don't believe he needs to be awakened. Uh, if I find out later that he needs to be awakened, I can awaken him. I do have a science awakening gem, but I really want to use that on a different character. But if I have to, I will use it on Red Hulk before we uh, start the uh, Eternity of Pain. But I don't believe he needs to be awakened for that. But Red Hulk, 
beast. Love him. And now that I have him at rank three, uh, maybe I might end up being asked to bring him in for uh, certain nodes, maybe in Alliance War. You know, um, he's one of the few that does well since he can, you know, deal with the incinerate, deal with the poison uh, at the same time. All right. Last one for this video. And this one, I wonder how many of you saw coming. I didn't see it coming. And it's going to be America Chavez. All right. Again, just like with Red Hulk, this is part of my preparation for the Eternity of Pain. And I needed Thunderbolts tagged champions. And she is. Now, again, J. Will suggested her. And I went and I looked up and I saw at least two uh, other YouTubers using her. And they were using her, and it looked like uh, pretty straightforward. Now, keep in mind, when I was watching them, they were using her before her buff. She's actually got a buff, and she does more damage now. So I don't know how that's going to go. I don't use her outside of Arena. So it's going to be interesting uh, to use her in the Eternity of Pain. But it looks pretty straightforward. Perhaps me running the ouchy masteries will cause a, a little bit more um, health loss. And so I might end up having to use a few more revives because of it uh, or health potions for that matter. Uh, but it looks like countering with the heavy and firing her specials, interrupting her heavy with the special uh, is the way to go. She also seems to have high energy resistance. And she is a cosmic killer now because cosmics tend to get a lot of buffs. And her dimensions, and I'm still learning, still learning, um, based on how many buffs they have, she's stronger. And Icarus is on the path that I'm going to be taking. I'm taking the right path all the time. And uh, later on today, in fact, you guys will see her in action as well as Red Hulk because we're going to do the Thunderbolts challenge later on today. But the little that I saw of her, I was actually impressed. Her going up against Cosmic Champions that get a lot of buffs and Icarus gets a lot of those energized buffs. So I'm thinking, yeah. If I can, you know, get into the rhythm and, and start uh, uh, using her, and it looked pretty simple. That doesn't mean I'm going to be able to do it uh, flawlessly, but it looked pretty simple. You know, counter his heavy with her heavy, build up those, um, I guess, dimension charges or, or what have you, or just build up her power since he has the 10 energized, so she should already be ramped up and then when you get your special fire it off that seems to be uh the play which means i'll probably have to uh heal her up or else my recoil uh damage will take me out so that's the plan two of the rank ups uh, the last two, Red Hulk and America Chavez, are for the Thunderbolts challenge we will be doing later on today. Uh, so we shall see. Now, the reason that I, I uh, ranked up America Chavez is because I don't have Juggernaut. Everywhere that I looked, I saw people using Juggernaut. I don't have Juggernaut. That's why I didn't use the Juggernaut um, double. You know, I think, what was it? Uh, ooh, I forgot. Uh, dimensional Beings, I think, or, or something else. Um, but I didn't do that double. That's why I didn't do it. I don't have a six-star Juggernaut. And so I was looking for alternatives, and J. Will was like, America Chavez. And I was like, really? Okay. And he was like, yeah, go check out. You know, people are using her 
uh, a couple of people were using her and I said, all right. So I, I checked out uh, Max uh, that I saw use her. And uh, I did check out Karate Mike's video where he was talking about um, her new buff and everything like that. And I forgot who else I, I looked at, but there was someone else that used her. And so we shall see. And it hurt, guys. It hurt. Because you know I wanted to take up Absorbing Man. You know I did, right? But we got to get this thing done out of the way. And I didn't have enough resources. I just didn't. Um, but he will go up in the future. No question about it. Uh, now, check out my score in the uh, level ups. You know I had eight champions during this level up. I took every last one of them to at least level 25. And then you see here, America Chavez and Red Hulk went up to rank three. Then uh, I went and took uh, Gore, I think, uh, four star to rank five. Yeah, I still take up uh, four stars. And the only reason that I took him up, there was a cosmic advancement on. And that's why I ended up uh, taking him up. Otherwise. I probably wouldn't have. I would have taken up one of my six stars to maybe rank two or something like that. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget, later on today, we're going to be back in the Eternity of Pain, and we will be doing the Thunderbolt Challenge. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.